Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to be talking about making this watercolor painting. We just got done looking at a PowerPoint, talking about a little bit about Mexican culture, and talking about the Aztec calendar stone, which was found in Tenochtitlan, um, and talking about the cultural significance of that. Um, and we're going to make a little watercolor based on the um, the calendar. So we're going to start with this square piece of paper and make this design, but we're also going to be thinking that in the future we're going to be moving on into a ceramics project which will focus on the sun as a symbol throughout a um, couple different cultures and how that plays in and it's going to be this little pocket so you can put stuff in there with holes up here at the top so you can hang it up on the wall or hang it outside in the garden or something. So um, that's kind of like the long-term view and the short-term view is we're going to be making this. To get started you're going to need um, a square piece of paper, this one happens to be 9 by 9 um, write your name on the back, my name being Mr. Lundgren, I'll write that nice and clearly alright and then write your grade number and your homeroom teacher on the back, whoever that happens to be all right, then flip your paper over and we're gonna need to start using some of these um, supplies I have laid out you're gonna need a ruler a compass and a pencil and I might have out some paper clips to hold your compass down and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line it up from corner to corner. You can kind of see this one's a little bit on the small side so maybe I'll have you guys use 18 inch rulers so that you can um, get them from corner to corner. You're going to line up these corners and you're going to draw a little line. Now you're not going to draw a line all the way across. Okay, you see this corner and lining up with that corner. I'm just going to draw very lightly right in the middle. Okay, so you can see that little line that I've made there. Now, I'm going to line up the other corner from corner to corner. And I'm going to draw a little line right there, right across it. So you'll see I have a little, a little line right here where the center of my paper is. That's how I can find the center of my paper very easily. Okay, so now that I've found the center of my paper, I'm going to make some circles. You're going to take your compass and you're going to place the center of that little circle right in the center there. And you can do one of two things. If you feel like you're good enough, you can kind of hold it down with your finger. You can. If you want to try using a little paper clip and sticking it in the hole and sticking the paper clip right on there and doing that, that could help too. But I, I, I'm concerned because the paper clip wiggles back and forth a little bit. So I'm going to hold it with my finger. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of um, line it up with the edge of your paper and you're going to give yourself just a little bit of a border here. And then I'm going to um, pick a circle, pick one of these holes, and I'm just going to start drawing around the edge. Okay? And you're going to reach a point about here where your hands have to overlap. So you're going to hold the compass down here with your finger, lift your other hand up and kind of switch your finger over like that and then you're going to con continue and if you do this perfectly your lines should line up just perfect like that. Then still holding it down you want to make another circle. If we look in here, okay, I've got my outside circle another circle and another one. We talked about the Aztec calendar having five circles but just to keep ours simple we're gonna make three so we don't get too overwhelmed as far as having um, too many circles. So I'm gonna start again here I'm going to draw my circle about halfway hold it down switch my hand over and then continue then I'm going to make my last inner circle. I'm going to switch my hands again for my index finger. I'm going to take my circle about here. So this is going to be the, the face in the center. I'm going to go, whoops, got to push down a little harder. My pencil's getting dull. And then I'm going to switch and continue like that so that I have my circle in the center. Now from there we're going to take a variety of triangles. Remember we talked about um, the, the stone being maybe kind of like a compass or signifying or symbolizing the directions. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put a triangle over to this point and try to make your triangles nice, um, as nice as you can. Okay, I'm going to put one there, turn my paper. I like to kind of have my drawing all happen in one place. It's easier for my hand that way. So I turn my paper, but if you want to leave yours still, you can whatever works for you. 
try to make them nice and equal. Mine are a little bit off already, so I understand that some of yours will be a little off as well. All right, um, so there's my triangles. And then on the next level, um, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna take this uh, face in the center, and we're gonna take from here, we're gonna put a triangle up, just like on, on the one, um, the, the original one, it has a triangle, and then it's gonna have a triangle going down, and a triangle going out, again, these being the north, south, east, west kind of idea, the four directions. And then in between that, just like on my example here, they had the square ones, right? So we'll take the squares. Or sorry, I guess they're more rectangles than squares, aren't they? All right. So we've got the rectangles in between. And the rectangle in between here. Then the last, or the second to the last step here is putting the other little directionals in. The last ones here should be kind of in between the triangle and that rectangle, okay? So if I come out to this uh, middle layer here, I'm gonna put a triangle here, a triangle here, and I guess I'll turn as I go. A triangle here, a triangle here, and you get the idea, okay? Now, once you get that done, I'm going to kind of give you the artistic choice of how you want to design the sun symbol face or the sun god face on the, the inner disk here. Um, I'm going to grab myself an eraser and kind of erase that pencil mark that's already there so that I don't have to fight with it too much once I get to the part of my, my face. Um, Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna just take two eyes, like that. It had like some hair, like a hairline that was kind of wiggly. It had like an ear here and an ear there, and the hair kind of wiggled into place. It had like three little rhinestones on maybe a, a headband or something that was above its head and then it had its mouth like an oval and then it had the tongue kind of sticking out of the mouth like that so if I want it overlapped I would erase that bottom part of the mouth so it looks something like that okay so this is our final drawing now once you finish your final drawing check it off with me um, so that we know you, you've got kind of what you need. And then you're going to actually take your eraser and just ever so lightly erase it. Okay, you want to leave a little bit of those lines there. But you want to have them not so much there that they overwhelm your drawing. All right, because we're going to be watercoloring this and we don't want those to stand out a whole lot. You want to be able to see them so you can trace over them, but you don't want them to ruin your drawing later, okay? So, um, you can erase those at the end after you've checked your drawing off with me. Now, once you get your drawing checked off, um, we'll move on to the next um, part of the lesson, which is the glue, all right? So that's how you make the drawing for your Aztec calendar stone project.